Hey guys, it's CFan31 here, and here's five tips that will help you become a better ARC player. Number one, build with a purpose. I know, especially at first as a new player, uh, it's very tempting to just start building whatever, your little dream house in the game. Um, I can tell you right now, you're going to want to specifically build, it might look ugly, you're going to specifically want to build as many layers as you possibly can. Uh, especially, this is all pertaining if you're on a PvP server. Your your layers and how you kind of create a maze in your base is going to really help you in a situation where some lower level tribe tries to raid your base right off the bat. Um, and my, my suggestion would be to skip thatch and wood altogether. Um, maybe maybe wood for your very, very first starter base, just to get to the point where you can make stone. But after that, wood is pointless compared to uh, building a stone and things out of stone. So um, once you get to the point where you can build a vault, you can build turrets, you can build species X, the plant turrets, those three things are going to be what separates you from a beginner, someone that constantly gets rated right to an actual competitor on a PvP server. Number two, tame to farm. I know with the uh, large amount of dinos that are on the, in the game, it's pretty tempting to try to tame, say, your favorite dino, go tame certain dinosaurs, but from, from level one, there's only a few along the way, say like a trike, say like a raptor, that you really need to help boost your way just so you can level until you get to the point where you can get the farming dinos, when you can get the Ankleo, when you can get a Deodicris, when you can get a Bronto, say if you just, just for berry purposes, those dinos are going to save you so much time when it comes to just farming. Whether you hate, love, taming or hate taming, they're going to save you a lot of time when it comes to stone gathering, getting cement paste, a lot of the things that matter in the late late game that are a huge pain, they will save you time. So I advise staying away from taming a lot of dinos just for, just for your, your pleasure. Go for what's actually going to be helping you in the long run especially high level rexes, quad souls, things like that for PvP. Number three, the best defense is a good offense. Now, even I myself posted some videos of, of raids, and if you're going to play friendly and you're going to kind of lay, try to lay low and you're not going to try to raid anyone, I, I commend you what you're probably making a mistake. Right off the bat, I'd suggest farming for explosives early on. Don't throw out your, your first campfire charcoal. Save all of that stuff. Anything that, anything that, look up the ingredients that go into the explosives. Anything that goes into grenade C4, save everything you can right off the bat because you're going to wish you did when you're when you're mass producing it and that's all you're grinding for um, wiping out pl nearby players is a huge advantage it's not always the most popular thing and don't wait in my opinion you shouldn't wait till they're online you shouldn't wait and, and so you make it makes you feel better or anything like that you shouldn't save their dinos if you're gonna if you're gonna do it you gotta do it and Wiping someone out most of the time is the best is the best option you have to actually ensure that your base is going to be still standing overnight. And if you try to play peacefully, just give it a shot because raiding probably is the f most fun part about the game. Once you once you do it and you get the loot, you won't regret it. That being said, number four, don't be afraid of interaction. If you get to the point where you are going to start raiding people, you're probably going to want some allies, or you're going to want enemies to raid in the first place. Um, when you 
like pretty much stick to yourself and you avoid all contact in the game you're you're not getting I guess the full experience of what art could offer where you don't have feuds you don't have you don't have people teaming up to take down the the big tribe on your server now a lot of people a lot of the bigger tribes will use some of the new players to help mass produce like stone for example and they'll give them a saddle or something that will help them level up which is a great way to get what you need um, but from from my standpoint I've always put we've always played the way being a small tribe trying to lay low so because we were pretty aggressive we didn't want to bring a, attention to ourselves and for every moment of interaction I had that was kind of off the cuff was actually some of the best parts about the game and it was kind of like I was holding that I was holding that away from myself because I wasn't letting myself just run up and talk to people. I wish I actually gave myself more of a chance because a lot of those interactions were really fun. Um, and my final tip for you guys is number five, don't get too attached. I know a lot of people put so much time into taming, they put so much time into building this nice looking house, they put so much time into farming that when they get raided for the first time and that all their dinos get killed, they quit. And I get that, that it sucks. I've had it happen many times. I've been raided. I've been, had all my dinos killed. But it kind of makes you better. You need to build. You need to build smarter. You need to tame more efficiently, and it gives you a reason to actually get back at, at a, another tribe, which gives you fuel to do so, and it's more exciting, to be honest with you. Um, that's the, kind of the beauty of Ark. There's a lot of different play styles. There's a lot of different strategies you can, can try to do. And that just restarts that whole process. Well, those are my five tips. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been fun. Don't forget to.